Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to the honor to the elder apostle, the great millstone, who were well. The salutation and much love to Yaki Mater, pushing out his word, truth, sincerity. Brothers and great millstone, Tam, we're back with another video, Lord's, Lord's will is edifying. We're just going to go in the spirit, you know, and do uh, the spirit do what it do. But, uh, you know, for those who got anything, they want to start with. Uh, yeah, I got some. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 34 and uh, verse 16. Isaiah 34, verse 16 it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered me. You know, so seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, you know, uh, going to uh, how no one of these shall fail, you know, going to prophecies. As a testament of our Lord, this spirit of prophecy. And uh, it's playing out here in real time here in the last days, which the Lord said was going to happen. You know, how you uh, read out of the book of the Lord versus basically dealing with you. And what uh, scripture said, he supposed to read uh, precept upon precept, line upon line here, little there, little. You know, and the, the mysteries have been revealed unto the Lord's service of prophets. And they've been saying what's going to happen to so called America and his fate and the rest of the world uh, since, you know, our living spirit hopped on him uh, for the prophecy to go out and start teaching, you know, which we see now as the apostles on down. According to their faith and their works, uh, what they uh, said has stood true, and they have never changed up the, the rhetoric, they never changed up the story, it's always been uh, the same. You know, that's why I should say, Dancer Noah, my chosen, as well as it says, uh, Dancer Noah, probably been among them. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I, got, I got something real quick. Isaiah 55, and verse 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and return it not thither, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11 So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where I sit it to. So going to the prophecies, all right, that's why it's very important to read out of the book of Yahweh Shemeshai because you can, uh, 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 through the scriptures, it says, uh, measure the time diligently. Okay, so then you can uh, take a look of uh, current uh, events, current news. And it, it lines up with biblical prophecy, man. The Lord said that uh, this, these things would take place at this uh, certain time, which is why Yahweh Shai said, watch as well as pray. Okay, so you don't get taken, all right, uh, as, uh, when the Lord comes as a thief in the night because you're not on uh, your watch, man. All right. I got a uh, quick piece up going to that. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelations 1 and 3. It reads, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. See, it's, it's you know when you look at uh, those who uh, the Lord has bestowed the, the Spirit upon them, all right, to uh, to read, to go into these prophecies, to to, to meditate on these things. It's uh, the Lord is saying, "Blessed are you, all right, because these are the things that what the world cannot receive. These prophecies, the things of what uh, that is to come." Because the time that we're getting ready to enter into is getting ready to be a time like no other, as the scripture says. All right, uh, going into what? Jeremiah chapter 30. All right, going into Jacob's trouble. So, blessed is he that readeth. Okay, as the scripture says. Um, it says, and keep those things which are written therein. So, keep the things of what you have learned. All right, keep the same doctrine. All right, learn and, uh, and stay attained to it. All right, because these are going to be the things that's going to uh, have you uh, stable in these times to come. I know the brother. Yeah. Okay. I got a quick one real quick. This is uh, John chapter 6 and verse uh, 63. Just going into what the brother was just saying about the, the word being what's going to sustain you in these last days. Um, have we read that precept? No. no. The brother wants to hold that on back. Uh, this is uh, John chapter 6. And uh, uh, I'll just read verse uh, 63. John 6 and 63, it says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You know, so the words that, that Yahweh Shai, through, you know, Yahweh through the only his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know, spoke unto us, breathed into us. Okay, those were going to be the things that are going to, uh, like I said here, that uh, hold, that have, that have life. Mm -hmm. Just like you, you only, you're only alive you know, so to say, you know, spiritually, if you receive the, the words, okay, because if you don't receive these words and you're just walking dead, that, that's that's the congregation that you're going to remain in, okay, which is why what the scriptures say, uh, he that wandereth on the way of, uh, of the righteous, 
you know, shall, uh, shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, that's what's getting ready to uh, to to be shown out here in, on, on a full scale of who has that breath and who's one or you know who's wandered out into the way of the righteous and who's wandered away from the, the way of the righteous. Which how do you do so? Is by obtaining these words, drawing near unto the Most High, man. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, I got something to go on with what you're just saying because those that well, let me just read it. It said this. Uh, I started uh, Matthew three and sixteen. I'm gonna read all, all the way through it. Malachi 3, verse 16. Then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and the book of remembrance was written before him, so that before him, before them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. So those that are going to be shown to, to be obeying the Lord, right, are going to be those that are fearing him, all right, because what the book of remembrance was the scriptures was left for them. All right, that fear of the Lord, you know, the, those are the only ones that can really understand it, you know, and truly be able to abide by it and follow after it. Verse 17, it says, And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, and that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as it meant to what? Spare them from what? The time of Jacob's trouble, like the brothers was mentioning earlier, the time like no other. All right, they're the only ones that fear the Lord are going to be spared. It says, As a man spareth his own son that serveth him, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth the not. You know, so that's how you're gonna know when the Lord returns and separates the sheep from the goats. You know, so, uh, se uh, uh, severs the tear from the the wheat. You know, so hey, that's gonna be the, the determining factor, man. He like the scripture say, with he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. That's the only, that's going to be when you're going to be able to realize, all right, who was actually serving the Lord, all right, who was going after the congregation of the dead, you know, who wanted to remain in, the, in this world to serve other gods instead of serving you, how watching you outside, you know, that's when you're going to know who, who are the true servants of the Lord, you know, and even before that, you know, leading up to that moment, you know, it says, uh, 2 Exodus uh, uh, 16 says, then shall they know who are my chosen, you know, so you're going to know when the, when the, when the, the servants of the Lord are being fed. And drinking, and everybody else is starving to death and mourning. You know, that's when you're gonna start to realize who the Lord is dealing with. If you haven't realized it yet, you know. Well, go ahead. Uh, I got some to affect you. This uh, John 14, and uh, I started verse 15. Uh, John 14, verse 15. It says, "If you love me, keep my commandments." What verse? Oh, uh, man. Yeah, well, I'm in that same. Oh, kind of. I was further up. I was further up. Verse 15. Okay, yeah, like a couple in the comforter. Uh, uh, John 14 verse 15 it says if you love me keep my commandments you know so going to that book, well, where, where were you at he was like I was up at verse 6 oh, oh I just read through it yeah, yeah, yeah. read up one yeah. Yeah, start at verse 6 yeah, yeah. All right. uh, John 14 uh, starting at verse 6 John 14 verse 6 it says Yahweh Shai saith unto him I am the way the truth and the light John 15 I'm on 14 oh okay so like yeah. oh, I was joking okay yeah. 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 So you can go back to the, to the uh, John 14 and verse uh, 15 says, If you love me, keep my commandments. You know, so going to that book of remembrance, you know, the, what's in the book of remembrance, the commandments, that's our heritage. Not being black, not being Latino, that's what we say so called. Not being Native American, that's what we say so called. Our heritage is, is the, what the Lord gave us, the laws, you know, which uh, Jeremiah uh, what the, what the, uh, 16 and 4 says, We, did, we have to discontinue from our heritage. Uh, Lord says specifically to Peter three times, if you love me, you feed my sheep. So going to our whole duty is to fear him and keep his commandments. And that's it. Uh, here, verse four, uh, verse 16, John 14, verse 16. And I will pray uh, the Father, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. You know, so uh, I'll just keep reading verse 17. It says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. That's why I was going to say, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. All right, the Lord, uh, not, he has not given us the spirit of the world, but the spirit of this truth. You know, as, uh, you know, according to prophecy, the Lord wake us up in these last days you know, from our dead state, as brother read earlier, about how uh, the spirit quickened it, quickened it means made alive. You know, so we're made alive by the word, which the word made flesh being held shy. You know, uh, last verse here, I'll stop. Uh, John 14, verse 18, it says, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. You know, so, uh, to say faith come by hearing we heard the words of the Lord the word came down from heaven you know hopped on our elders and apostles and they started prophesying you know we heard these words and we ate them up 
you know, going into eating a whole roll, okay? So us having the wisdom and understanding and going to fear the Lord, these are the tools that we have that's gonna get us through this time. So the truth that we have, this comforts us, knowing all the stuff that's happening on planet Earth, we're comforted. That's why I should say wisdom now should be the stability of that time. Fear the Lord's our treasure, you know? Like I, just a quick precept, um, <clears throat> Matthew 24 and verse uh, 35, right to the point. Matthew 24 and 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. All right, so uh, the words of uh, Yahweh Hashem Shai is not going to pass away, meaning what? It's going to be a time where we were going to wake up out of that dead state, as it says in Revelation 11 chapter, that dead, that dead bodies are lying in the street, okay? Uh, which is spiritually saw in Egypt, and then it says after three days and a half, all right, uh, from 1619 to 1970, the other alphabet was on the scene, even until this day, that spirit of life, this truth, has been, uh, entered into our, uh, our, our bodies, man. So now we're able to keep the word uh, that Yahweh Shai uh, given us, all right, in a uh, measuring time. All right, this is the time where he's getting ready to uh, bring great, uh, wreak havoc on the planet Earth, man. All right. And that's why it's good to say, rise and shine for thy light is come. You know, we're supposed to be in a, a joy state because why? Because we have the truth again. We've been reunited back with our true heritage nationality. We don't have to be confused out here. The Lord confirmed us by should say the spirit great witness with our spirit that we are those children and we're children according to our faith. You know, so at the end of this at this destruction of this world, our hope is that way. At the end of light of at the end of the tunnel, being out is the kingdom, you know, for you know, obeying and doing what he said to do, just like he took care of our righteous forefathers for obeying and doing what he told them to do. We're doing the same thing in this time, the most wickedest kingdom ever to be established on as uh that one great. That's some real quick. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the things we see happen on earth it doesn't uh, shake us up because, again, we have the comfort. You see the so called UFOs. You know, people bug out about that stuff. You see all type of weirdo sci fi movies, weirdo books, people saying, I got raped by aliens, you know, green god and stuff like that. You know, but we know those the angels of the Lord. You know, so people speak like that. You know, we can discern that that's not the truth. You know, we can cut through all the bull crap, all the lies, which we've been lied to from our, our, our born day, inheriting lies, the Lord woke us up and freed us with his truth. You know, so once our salvation, again, this is what we should be happy about. You know, this thing's gonna wrap up, you know, and at the end of this, we're gonna be the Lord's will crowned, being part of the hopeful elect coming for four thousand, the rest of one third, and being partaker of the everlasting kingdom on the Yahweh Shine, you know. Because the so-called American thing is, is not it, you know. So going into our salvation, again, you know, we have something to look forward to. You know, so we shouldn't be in a down state because if we can endure until the end, there's something great laid up for us in heaven if we're getting to be part of the elect. Hey, Lord gave us what? Uh, the, the record. He gave us what? The, uh, the words, the scriptures, all right, to, uh, to keep us uh, to keep us stable in these times to come. Uh, this is the book of 1 John 5. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High have made him a liar because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his son. So this is how we're going to get, uh, what, to have that eternal life, all right, through uh, Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, and this is the record that the Most High have given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. And this is how we're going to get the eternal life, all right, by the way of Yahweh Shai, all right, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. It says in uh, verse 12, it says, he that have the son have life, and he that hath not the Son hath not life. So we have the words, just like when I wrote, uh, brought out earlier, Revelations 1 and 3, blessed is he that readeth, all right, and keepeth, and keepeth these things uh, within, all right, we believe on the words, we believe on Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh okay, that's going to lead us, all right, to, uh, uh, to help us to keep the faith, all right, to uh, have us to uh, get uh, eternal life, okay? It says, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the Most High, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of the Most High. Okay, so we got to believe on the, uh, what, the Son, we got to believe on Yahweh Shai, got to believe on these words. Okay, this is why it's going to be that, that, that great blessing unto that remnant, unto the elect, because they have something to believe on. While the rest of this world, they don't have nothing to believe on. They're going to be out here stuck out here in all this chaos. All right, that's getting ready to happen. Um, a little bit more, it says, uh, verse uh, 14, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. As the brother brought uh, out earlier, he said that um, 
what it says that the, the world will hear us. I don't know if you brought up first John 4, but I'm so not thinking of something else. But um, let me read that again. Verse 14 says, This is the confidence that we have in him that we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So the Lord heareth what? The remedy, he heareth the elect. Okay, he's not going to hear the rest of this world because they didn't uh, adhere, all right, and hearken unto the words at that time before the destruction came. Okay, another verse, man. All right, I'm trying to back you up. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 John chapter 2. I'll start at verse 23. First book of John chapter 2, verse 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He hath promised us, even eternal life. So you got to believe. You you got to believe in the Son, like the brother was just saying, and it's got to be in you from the beginning. At the end of the day, you know, uh, going back to the John chapter fifteen, it tells you that not everybody was given to 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 um, to believe on the Word. You know, not everybody can come onto the Father. Only those that were chosen from the beginning. So that's why I said, therefore, uh, there, let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If you weren't there in the beginning with Yahweh Shai, then you didn't hear it. It's not going to resonate with you. Okay, so this word has to resonate in, in you because not just everybody, anybody can just accept this word and say they believe on it. It has to be from the Heavenly Father. Just like, just, just as not everyone is written in the name, in, in the book of life. Okay. It's only they who, who have been there who believe from the beginning and also them that believe on Yahweh Shai through their words, you know, through those that believe, all right, who are the first fruits of Yahweh Shai, okay, those are the ones that are written in that book of life, all right, but not everybody can do that, but you, and, and even then, if you do, if you're given this knowledge, if you're given these words, okay, and you understand it and you believe in the Son, you got to, it said, let that therefore abide in you. Okay, you gotta let it. You gotta have that remain in you, man. Because if you lose it, you're done. You finished. I got something real quick. Um, I'm gonna pull it up right now. Watch this. You better stop. Okay. I go back into. I get this in uh, the book of Matthew five. All right, going into we mentioned uh, uh bless lesson earlier. All right, and, and blessed are those all right, who get to hear these words. All right, this is the book of Matthew 5. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse 3. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. All right, because you see we're in a state of, uh, you know, here in Babylon the Great, all right, and uh, underneath our oppressors, all right, underneath the uh, so called white man, which would be today uh, the Edomites. All right, he has us, you know, working these uh these long shifts. All right, he got us uh, subject to payments. Okay, he has us, you know, downtrodden here in in Babylon on the Great. But the Lord is saying it's something better. All right, he's saying, blessed are you. All right, because you get the chance. All right, to uh, uh to get these words to to hear it. Okay, it says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger. And thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. All right, they're going to be filled by out by the words. Okay, the words is going to uh, is going to fill them. All right, to give them uh, uh, to keep them sustained. Okay, it says, "Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High." Okay, the Lord's going to uh, show mercy unto that remnant, unto the elect. All right, the Lord is going to uh, uh, show uh, himself through his son, Yahweh Shai, all right, through his word, all right, and the prophets are going to uh, uh, bring these, um, uh, um, uh, bring the spirit out, all right, to, so these people can understand, all right, who Yahweh is, all right, through his son, Yahweh Shai. It says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Okay, that's going, hey, all the way back into it, that remnant. All right, going to show you the remnant, all right, how important they are, all right, and the Lord's going to uh, bestow upon them many blessings, all right, because they were, like the brother had mentioned earlier, all right, they would have been founded from the foundations of the earth. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, real, real quick, um, to back the brother of uh, my number, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 
in verse 32, right to the point it says, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, right? So like uh, Brother said earlier, you know, you can't make yourself a believer. The elder apostle Tom is going into that, uh, the, the, the uh, street teaching, all right, Saturday, man. Okay, you can't, you can't just put on a garment, all right, and, and go out and, and you, got, you got the breakdowns now, man. You know, you, you got, no, nah, man, it, it don't work like that. You have to be from, from the beginning predestined. All right, chosen the holy uh, uh, Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shushai has been uh, predestined for you to receive it, man. Okay, before the foundations of the earth, you can't uh, before the foundations of the earth, you can't just make yourself a believer. All right, and real quick, I'm going to get this in Romans 11. All right, Romans 11 and 7 it says, "What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? Yeah, because Jake want comfort, Jake want the truth. All right, but the Most High Yahweh Shushai has blinded two thirds of his people from receiving it, man." To the point where when you do tell them, they, they just bug out. There's nothing else for them to do but bug out, man. All right, it says, um, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. Okay, so the election have obtained this truth. Okay, and it's just a matter of time. That's why Matthew's the 22nd chapter says, go out to the highways and hedges, all right, and, and uh, uh, preach the gospel of good tidings, man. Preach the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yashai so that the elect can hear that song and it can resonate within their spirit, man. Right. All right. You go to that word election, meaning being chosen. You know, when you elect the president, you choose, you picking who you want to, to you who you want you're electing who you want to be the president. Well, Yahweh Shai elected a certain men, a certain few, to be there with him from the beginning to help him in all things. Well, those same men are back here in these last days. Like the brother said, the the the, um, the spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophets. The prophets are who the servants of the heavenly Father, to do his bidding. To do the bidding of who the heavenly Father in the name of the uh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, just back that up real quick. That point up, uh, Ephesians chapter one. I started. Uh, I'll just start at verse uh, uh, three. It says, "Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings. All right, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, the gifts, and heavenly places in Hamashiach." According as he hath chosen us in him, you see, so as, as he hath chosen us in him, okay, in Yahweh Shai, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And how are we uh, uh, without blame before him in love? By keeping the commandments, by keeping his word, okay, because that's how we're going to be found blameless, okay, without spot in the presence of Yahweh Shai when he returns, all right? Who who came who was keeping my my uh my words and who wasn't? All right, like brothers mentioned earlier, separating the sheep from the goat in those days, man. So it says, um, verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by the Yahweh Hamashiach to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will, man. So we've been pre you have to be predestinated to re to even receive this word, man. You have to be predestinated to accept this word. All right, if not, then, then you're out of gas and there's nothing that we can do for you because the Most High ultimately didn't choose you. Okay, he didn't choose you for your house, shall I say. Then that just means that, hey, you just got to live out your lot here in, in America, which means just live it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, unless you have some questions. No, 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 go ahead. That was it. Come on. Uh, so, hey, I'll grab this real quick because uh, going into, again, you know, uh, Father's read it. Second Corinthians 15, verse 3. Second Corinthians 15, verse 3, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. And the majority of this world, they do not believe in Yahweh Shai. They don't believe in his words. Okay, and if they do, they don't accept the Son, you know, because the spirit of uh, the Old Testament of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. If, if you can't accept the truth, then that means you don't accept the Yahweh Shai, you know. So uh, Romans, the third chapter, says, What if some do not believe? You know, does their unbelief have anything to do with how the Lord is going to play out? Uh, what he says is going to play out, no. If they're just playing in their script, you know, we're, we're supposed to believe and they're supposed to not believe, you know. Uh, yeah. so just make a quick point to back you up. That's why Yahweh Shai said, no man, if, uh, you don't receive the Father. Okay, no man can get to the Father but through him. So that's why we go out and prophesy, speaking about Yahweh Shai, so you can uh, get that order. You can understand the order. We have to come up under the order, man. You know, and that only comes by the Lord uh, giving you that ear to hear, all right, that we, we speaking about Yahweh Shai, man. So you can receive it. All right, and it's time to wake up. And what I got to do to get myself in, in line before he come, before he come back, man. You know. Mm -hmm. So uh, Second verse fifteen and verse four. It says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." So they're gonna die in their unbelief. You know.
know, so that's why I'm not supposed to get upset about somebody don't want to believe in the truth. They want to, you know, come up against you because you didn't get a juice, you know, because you, you, you didn't get a chip. They want to have an argument with you. They want to fight with you. Because the Lord said, fight for me and I, uh, I shall fight for you. Fight for truth unto death, you know, because we'll be faced with situations where we might be left, we're going to die. You know, the Lord said, many who stand here shall not taste of death, but death believe it's going to be a test of our faith, you know. But in the day, again, the faith has been given to us to sustain us, our hope, you know, when the things not seen. You know, that's what the Lord loves. He says it's impossible to please him without faith. You know, so I'll read these next two. Uh, Samuel 15 and verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. So that's what's coming to these people, you know, for not believing. You know, and two doors one people are going to fall into this category because they follow the ones to do evil. You know, joining hand in hand with this world, they're going to get destroyed, destroyed with this world. You know, um, and I'll stop here at verse 6. It says, For the for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. So their evil works are fulfilled. You know, going to this kingdom, Revelation 18 chapter, I've seen this, this place that reached all, up onto heaven. And the Lord's going to say, Enough is enough. So when that cap is filled, you know, that bound that Esau's been set, you know, to fill up, is set, destruction is going to come. And whoever is going to get stuck in that destruction, hey, this is going to get swept through. Like, to just say that this sum of destruction is going to be a sweeping agent with these thermal missiles. And right before these thermal missiles touch down, you have to let him beam it up. You know, that's why we always spoke in this one fifth chapter about that boldness, you know, standing up in boldness for the, the truth, you know, and then getting beamed up while it's, these people are getting ready to be uh, destroyed, you know, and that's the sight we're getting ready to see because the Lord said, blessed are your eyes again for they see and your ears for they hear. And we're going to physically see this when it's made manifest when the time comes. In fact, the scripture say, have a clue, but there's yet for that point in time that it shall speak in our life, you know. Yeah, I got some real quick. Uh, you got some up? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, this is the book of St. John, uh, since the brother had mentioned all right, the, the unbelief of right, these people. Uh, this is the book of St. John 3, the point is at verse 19, we'll start at verse 18. It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the, in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Okay, so many of these people, right, they have already con uh, condemned themselves, all right, because they did not want to believe on the words, these precious words of what the Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us. As we read earlier in the book of 1 John uh, 5, this is the record that the Lord has uh, left unto us, all right, so that we can believe on the words, so that we can believe on the Son, so that we may have the right uh, to eternal life. It says, uh, verse 19, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. All right, and the light is coming to the world through Yahweh Shai and his word, all right, which is the word, Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Okay, so they're going to uh, have to suffer, all right, the, uh, the, the harsh judgments that the Lord is getting ready to bring upon this earth, all right, because they wanted to stay in, in their uh, evil deeds. That's it. Uh, yeah, I got something to back you up. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 2 and verse 10. It says, and with all deceivableness, but from un unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And a great deception is coming, uh, 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 that's getting ready to uh, be presented unto you uh, people, man. Chiefly our people. All right, because at the end of the day, this truth is only for uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latino, and American Indians, man. But going back into what we've been talking about, only only an election is going to get it. So it don't matter to me, talk to you. To, uh, we can go through all the breakdowns. Of, no, man, if, if, you, if you were not predestined to receive this uh, the love of the truth, and you are predestined for destruction, man. Yeah, that's why we're not going to bend over backwards, you know, for you people out here. Mm -hmm. You get it, you don't. We got to wrap it up to you, you know, all nice, and we got to do some semantics or whatever, you know, do some slideshow, do some backflips, you know, have some fireworks. Mm -hmm. It's either you receive it or you don't. Right. You know, so we just say we have a more sure word of prophecy. We have the truth. You got to come to us through the spirit of power, y'all, by trust, you know, false nails on down. You know, if you can't, if you can't come in through the sheepfold, you're a thief and a robber. Yeah, that's, that's why in the parable of the, the five wise and five unwise virgins, those five unwise virgins, who they go to to try to get oil? They went to the five wise. They didn't, it didn't, scripture didn't tell you that they went to the to the markets. <laughs> First, they went to the who they knew had the, the oil. And it's going to be clear and everything, like the brother said earlier, you know, then shall my chosen be known. It's going to be known who has the, who has the truth and who doesn't, who has the light and who doesn't, man. And you're going to have people trying to come to us to try to get that. But at that time, if the Lord hadn't put it in the spirit to, to, to allow you to, to, to get the oil, then, then hey, man, then go go to the merchants. 
Yeah. And see if you can get some from them. Starts close. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Continue on. Verse 11, it says, And for this call shall the Most High send them strong delusion. All right? That they should believe, believe a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, that precept of uh, the brother of uh, uh, you know, uh, brings out a lot is that second is I, I believe it's five, where it says, uh, uh, they shall go into the sweet, but it shall be uh, yeah, sweet, waters. sweet waters. Yeah. Okay, so you you gonna you gonna look for the truth, but hey, man, that's why we're going to Odyssey, man. You, they, yeah, they getting ready to clip all the, the YouTube videos, all, all the YouTube channels, and, and you jakes that been playing this whole time with all the oil. You gonna come looking for uh, all those channels, and you ain't gonna find nothing, man. Okay, all right. And in, in, in uh, verse twelve, all right, this is the point. It says that they all might be damned but who believe not the love of the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. And the scripture said in Isaiah the 30th chapter, war to of the rebellious house that add sin unto sin, man. Okay, that take on a covenant, but not of me. All right, that uh, uh, go down into Egypt for help. So you jakes, all right, you don't believe the truth. You don't believe in your side. You don't want uh, mercy. So ultimately, what's the opposite of mercy, man? Okay, you're going to receive, you're going to receive judgment. Okay. Your brother's got it. What verse you just finished on that? Uh, verse uh, 12. Uh, keep read, read the next one then, 14. Come, verse 13, it says, But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel to be obtained, so like to the obtaining of the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. See, so at the end of the day, the reason why we... Those that have received this word, man, it's all to the obtaining of the glory of Yahweh Shai, man. Can you add on to the Lord being glorified? Because if you, if the Lord ain't just going to, he ain't going to call and choose those that we're not going to uh, bring forth fruit. Meet for repentance, man. Good fruit. You, if you didn't bring none, if you didn't, weren't adding nothing on, guess what? You're going to be cut off and you're going to get hewn into the fire, which is what's going to happen to people who don't believe. Okay, because you're not adding to Okay, you're not bringing nothing to the table, so to say. Okay, you said uh, to the to the whereby ye are called by our gospel, the good news. So we're called. Uh, it says we're on to ye. He called you by our gospel because you you heard the good news, so you were called into it, right? To the obtaining of the glory of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. To the obtaining of His glory. So you. Our brother, you received this truth, man. You were to be glorifying Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You glorifying the, the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, man. If you're not, then you see what these guys that, that don't worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what happens. But they so called got the truth. You see? This is just the point I want to get on on that. Okay. Uh, Psalms 81, verse 11. But my people would not hearken to my voice. In Israel with none of my with none of me. So I gave them up unto their own hearts lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Alright, one of the prophecies is that what uh, I believe uh, in uh, Second Timothy 3, uh, it says um, perilous times shall come, men shall walk, uh, uh, lovers of themselves. Yeah, man. And, and that 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 spirit of, 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 of loving yourself is out here in, in uh, Israel heavy, man. And that's what that's one of the, the scriptures say the Lord have given you up to your heart's lust. You have a lot of our people that worship themselves, man. Yeah, you know they 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 are factuated with how they look, all right. And you, the Lord blinded you from receiving His truth, so that way when you walk past the prophets, you don't you don't even understand the significance of of, of us being out there, man. You walking past your salvation, you walking past your shot. You see, and that's exactly the same two thirds of our people that were walking past your shot when He was on the scene, man. So the Lord is getting ready to return, return the faith unto you, because what Proverbs the first chapter says, they shall uh, uh, call upon you, all right, but I will not hear them. Yea, and he what he's going to mock at your destruction. He's going to laugh when your calamity come upon you, man. You know, and what the prophets, we're going to be in that same spirit. You know, we're going to be laughing at you niggas, man, because the whole time, our work is done. The blood is off our hands. Mission accomplished, man. You know? I got something. It's the book of 2nd Ezra 9, verse 9. It says, Then... Shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments. Mm -hmm. So that's these judgments, all right, that the Lord is getting ready to uh, have set. On uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2, uh, have these uh, judgments uh, set uh, uh, for these people, okay? 
It says, uh, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So you see them, they have received uh, the benefits of uh, this life here in this uh, American dream. All right, they got the fancy uh, cars, houses, uh, clothes, you know, they, they got everything and they take these benefits, all right, and they, they uh, liken them them, unto themselves and what? They they forgot about the Most High. So the Lord is going to cast these uh, torments, all right, and, and judgments upon them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah 15 and verse 2, right? Yeah. Okay. And it shall come to pass mm -hmm. if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Mm -hmm. Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Power, such as are for death mm -hmm. to death, mm -hmm. and such as for the sword to the sword. All right, that's where all these uh, things are getting ready to come towards uh, uh, the two thirds, all right, to the rest of these people of this earth. All right, they're going to come and try to seek uh, the word, all right, of Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Bashan. They're going to try to seek out the prophets, and if they do come across us, guess what? That's what we're going to tell them, all right, for the sword to the sword. Right. Mm -hmm. And such as for the famine to the famine. Because right. the famine is on the way, the famine is on the rise. All right, you see it in the backgrounds going on over there with uh, uh, California. Okay, you got the uh, the backlog of all these different ships. All right, they're holding uh, the merchandise. So just know that soon, uh, sooner or later, sooner than later. All right, these uh, uh, famines are on the rise. You start to see empty shelves. All right, the um, the inflation. All right, all these things are coming. All right, towards you people. All right, you guys are getting ready to come into some uh, uh, some horrific uh, torments and judgment that the Lord is about to bring unto you. Yep, it says, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. Mm -hmm. And hey, that's what you're going to be at. You're going to be here with, with, with Esau, Edom, all right? And you're going to have to suffer, all right, right along with them, all right? And these, uh, uh, when these missiles drop here in Babylon the Great, all right? Because you walk in this uh, great pride, right, uh, after your father, um, Esau, Edom. Okay, verse 11, it says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. And that's what the brother was going into. All right, they despised the word, all right, by walking past us. All right, we out here on the, uh, the highways and hedges. All right, they come past the videos. All right, they scoff and they mock on the videos. All right, this is going to be the torment that the, uh, that's getting ready to come towards them. That's why the scripture goes into it and it says that it's going to be a wailing and gnashing of teeth. All right, these people are going to know that they had the word at one point and they went right past it. All right, they didn't see the significance of what was uh, really going on. All right, and that was to what? To their salvation. I guess. This is uh, Daniel uh, chapter 12. And, uh, you know, going to it again, our people, uh, the two thirds of them, you know, that's why it's just pretty much a lost cause, you know, because uh, even Yahweh Shai said, uh, to them niggas back then, you know, which they're back here again today, that same wicked generation, uh, they also said, fulfill, uh, fill you, fulfill you the measure of your fathers, mm -hmm. uh, serpents and generations of vipers, you know. Uh, but here, Daniel 12 and verse uh, 10, it says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, you know, going to the elect, you know, made purified by washing the word, okay, the regeneration, us being uh, given a renewed spirit, you know, again, going by the spirit of truth, which is, uh, through Yahweh Shai, it says, But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. You know, so none of the wicked shall understand. You know, they're just uh, set up again ultimately to destroy it, being vessel of dishonor, right? You know, the Lord has them uh, you know, to be an example of what not to be in these last days. You know, that's the majority of our people. Jake does not understand that this is the time of, of his visitation. And the Lord's coming back, he's going to come in to see you first, as we say uh, in what, First Peter uh, 4 17. So, Judgment shall begin first at House of Mosai. So those that know their Israelites, okay, you walk around with fringes everywhere, at the barbecue, at, at the barbershop, you know, wearing fringes, all right, the Lord's going to come see you, okay? And that's why they, uh, the house I said, uh, many shall say, Lord, Lord, in that day, and, uh, and shall not be able to enter, you know, into, into the rest of the world. Because why? Because it's about uh, ultimately the elect, all right? Yeah, but, right? yeah, that's why I said the wise shall understand again going to those that is true. Yeah. In fact, you know, you're going to have a lot of J's want to tidy up at, in the last day, man, in the last time. It's going to be too late. You know, you don't have enough going to the five wise and five foolish. You ain't got the whole. All right, but I got, I got some real quick. Uh, Surah 40, verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh, both men and beasts, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and a scourge. These things are created for the wicked 
and for their sakes came the flood. All right, and that same uh, 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 that, that same energy, that same vibration of wickedness, all right, that uh, that was in the time of uh, Noah. All right, that it, it only elevated. All right, now look at now look at how wicked uh, Jake is, man. You know, again, the scripture saying us uh, uh, what's that? Sirach five, putting out off the Lord from day to day. I got oh, okay, come spirit, go ahead, bring that up. All right, it's the book of Sirach five, uh, verse seven, straight to the point. It says, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord." And put not off from day to day. Yeah, and when, when you start doing that, the, the spirit, you don't even feel, you don't feel in the spirit. So now look, you got Jake's that's 10, 15 years without even thinking about the Heavenly Father, if it was only got a son come across his mind, you know, putting up no prayers over food, nothing. No thoughts of, of righteousness, no no uh, thoughts of, uh, of peace, all right, that's entered into Jake's mind. He's just, he's completely forgot about his power, man. Nope. And that's why going back to that thing of 12, it says, uh, they shall awake to everlasting shame and content. Mm -hmm. They're going to wake up, you know, knowing these things they were doing, being demons out here, denying the Lord, you know, uh, being rebellious, you know, for no reason, just being rebellious to every damn thing, knowing yeah. that's not one rule, you know, to nobody, you know, they're going to wake up and, and, and see what they were doing on this earth, and they're going to be greatly ashamed, you know, because hey, you are people at the end of the day, you know, you'll be back here in the kingdom in your right mind. But this is for your own good. It says, flesh of us is not here to kill him. So you have to die for you to inherit the blessing, you know? Yeah. And real quick, because this brother said to turn back to the Lord, uh, that word repent, when you break it down, re meaning back to the original place again, renew or once more. So to, to go back to, and to say, and then uh, the last part of it, uh, uh, pent, going back to penal, of or pertaining to punishment by law. So going back to the to the, the punishment of the law, which meaning going back to the love of the Lord, man. Following doing his following his doing his commandments. Yeah, because if you repent, but you don't go back to to, to keep it, you know, trying your best to keep the laws, then what did you really repent for? Which now let me get this quick precept. Luke 13 and and 3. It says, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So if you don't repent, if you don't come back to the Lord, then you're going to perish, man. Okay? I'm going to tie that up with that priest that the brothers are reading. Yeah. You know, you, want, you got more on that? Oh, come on. Uh, going back into Sirach 5 and uh, 7, it says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Yeah, see, so make no tearing to repent, man. Mm -hmm. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The scriptures tell us uh, uh, that our redemption draweth nigh. Okay? It is it's not at the door. So guess what? That means that the that that returning unto the Lord, you should be moving quick. Okay? Because no man knoweth the hour. But we know that it's drawn not. It's drawing closer to every day that goes by. It's, it's, it's moving, things are gonna move even quicker every day. So it's not much time left to repent, to come back to the Lord, man. And again, you it's not by word, it's not by by mouth. That you say, oh, I repent. <laughs> you just, I repent. <laughs> but you still eat pork. You, you eat pork, then you say, I repent. <laughs> Come on, man. It's by actions. Be not hearers of the word, but doers of the word. How do you doers of the word? Uh, by keeping his way. Well, with the word, you go into repent, it goes into being remorseful and, and turning your way. You know, turning from your old ways. So it's like, well, it's an action word. Like, you can say it all day. It's like love. Yeah, I yeah, love you, I love you. Well, you can say repent all you want. Yeah, I repent, I repent. It's lucky. Like it. But hey, it should be, it's an action word. We gotta actually act upon that, you know? And that's, that consists of changing your ways for, for, for this word, man. Yeah, because yeah, you go into the, the etymology of the word repent, it says to feel such regret for sins or crimes. So, because you're looking back on the law, you know, that's what the, the whole thing with the fringes and the border of blue. You know, you were supposed to, Jake was supposed to look at it and be like, damn, you know, we, we went off, you know. So and to remind you to, to not go off, man. So when you repent, when you're feeling sorry, you're suppo that's supposed to be reminding you, let me take my ass back to, to not feel this way. And how did you do that? To go back to the ways of the Lord, man, which is the same shit that you should be doing in these last days, before his coming, before he comes and judges the earth. Okay. Because if not, if you don't repent, like we read, I just read it in Luke 13, it said, Nay, but it said you repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. You got to feel sorry. You, the, the, the sacrifice of the Lord is a broken heart, contrite spirit. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Or it might be the other way around. Broken spirit, contrite heart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but nonetheless, you, you, you got you to gotta feel some type of way 
once you come into this truth about going against the Heavenly Father, man, your whole life. And it's got to be an everyday thing, especially when we, because we're going to continue to go off. You know, like Christians say, we're all sinners. Yeah, you're right. We sinning right now, sitting right here doing this video, we sinning. <laughs> We've got different fabrics on, you know. We, we, we commit sin as we speak. But what? Our mindset is is serving the Heavenly Father, going back to His ways. Try to try to live perfect, because we know that we ain't in the, we ain't in condition nor in faith to to keep the law. Lord under, even understood that, which is why He made the new covenant with us. That's why He sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai down. Okay, because He knew that we was in the flesh. He knew that we well. What he wanted us to do, we weren't going to be able to do in this flesh. But he wanted to see who was going to be faithful unto him by trying to keep those, those ways, by returning back onto him. All the different uh, lives that we live, going off, uh, getting astray from the Heavenly Father, the Lord was looking for those men that were going to wake up, that he ordained from the beginning. He was, he's been looking for us. When we woke up, that spirit got put upon us, and we continued daily. Repenting, trimming your lamps, right? Because when you're trimming your lamps, you're cutting off that that you don't need anymore. That excess, so to say. I got something to back you up. You got something real quick, Dad? You got something? All right, this is First uh, uh, right, Timothy 6 and 11. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. And that's going into what the brother said. When you, we apply these things on a daily basis. All right, we're we're trying to be active in the spirit as much as we can. All right, every day. All right, that's what that's what the, the spirit is. Why we be linking up together, man? Okay, uh, uh, and why? Because real quick, it's the point. Verse twelve: Fight the good fight of faith. It's a it's a it's a fight, man. All right, like the brother said, we're sitting just sitting here with mixed fa fabrics. Well, we, we hey, also another example is wicked thoughts that come on our mind, man. All right, that that pass our mind. It could be a you see a, a a badass female, man. You know, and you already thinking about what you want to do. All right. Okay, but hey, we gotta fight. We gotta cut the thoughts, man. You know, and then still simultaneously lift, lift up the shield. All right. And, and this is a war. This is a fight. All right. It says, "Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life." And that's why that's that's the whole uh, main objective. All right, is to lay hold, get Jake to focus on the uh, uh, the light that's at the end of the tunnel, man. Okay, and hold fast to that which we have, and let no man take our crown. Okay. It says, uh, "Whereunto thou art also called." So, like the brother said. All right, you, you, you can't, you got to know the Lord's name, bro, okay? You know, your dad, hey, if your, your name is Javar, all right? When your daddy say, hey, Javar, come in, you're not going to say, Tyrone, what's up? You, you ain't going to pay no attention, you're going to stay on 2K, all right? But what, you got you to gotta hear that calling, man, all right? We heard that calling, we know that Yahweh Shusha is calling us, man, all right? It says, it has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. So, and this is our profession, man, all right? We're supposed to be those examples, all right, of, of leadership, all right, uh, the, the, the light at the, uh, uh, on a uh, hill, all right, that Jake is looking at, man, okay, that all the nations is getting ready to see real soon, all right, once the Lord set up that mountain, okay, you got it out. Yeah, that's why it says in the land of John Water, they show what is the righteous acts, you know, the land of John Water is our captivity, you know, the righteous acts, which is, again, the law, you know, we're rehearsing, you know, that's what a rehearsal is, you're, you're practicing, you know, for, as we say, a shadow of things to come, we're rehearsing for us, we the wedding. That's coming. We gotta make sure we're, we're with the right attire and we're, we're in the right spirit because the Lord's gonna start kicking people out. That's not been invited by, uh, by to his wedding. Mm -hmm. right. right. It says the uh, uh, brother quoted uh, in the land of drawing waters. You know, we're drawing the waters out by seeking the, seeking the words, man. Seeking understanding. You know, because the scriptures liken the word onto living waters. You know, so this is that land. You know, this is the land of, of drawing waters, man. Where we we're remembering our ways. We were drawing that water out of that deep well that we were in, man. You know, getting the rope up, you start saying, oh, man, there is water down there. You start drawing it out. You know? Yep. And said, you shall remember yourselves. You know, we remember the old ways. You know, I always revert back to the movie um, uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Inception. You know, at the end of the movie, when he, 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 you know, the Chinese dude ends up dying, you know, in those, the deep levels of the dream that they were in, and Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, sacrificed himself to go into another level of the dream to, to bring back the dude. You know, the Asian guy, he told him, he was like, 
the Asian dude seen the little toy, you know, he, he remembered, he was like, man, I've seen this a long time ago. A young man came to me and, and, and told me about, about something. And then Leonardo DiCaprio started remembering what he had, what he was sent to do. And he told, you know, they're, they're, they're both quoting it, you know, you know, basically the, uh, that he was there to remind him of something that he had long forgot about, you know, and that's this truth, man. We long forgot about our customs, our ways, but the Lord has sent that comforter, that, that, that spirit of Yahweh Shai, okay, that wake up call to, to remind us of who we were. Yeah, it's like that movie Infinite. Mm -hmm. that the lady was telling him, right, she was right. like, have you ever just done anything? Oh, you just you didn't have to learn. You just knew how to do it. Right. But it's the truth, you know. We right. we come back in our life, like Brother read earlier. Mm -hmm. This is hey, we inf infinite lives, but we keep coming back and doing the same thing over. It just has to be reminded, like in the movie. Perfect example. He had to be reminded of who he was, you know. And then you know when he came to him, then he got sharper with it, you know. Yeah. They had to do those memory extracts and yep. go into his mind. And, and that's like you, you go yeah. watching videos or in the scriptures. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, even in that movie Inception, what happens after he, he remembers who he was? They wake up. And they were back in the beginning of, you know, where they were on the plane, where they had put everybody to sleep. You know, they wake up as soon as he remembers. Yeah. I got some. Oh, it's the book of Baruch 4. I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. See, Yahweh Shai has remembered us, okay? He's remembered that remnant, okay? But why? Because we uh, have been crying out, all right? Sighing and crying about the abominations that have been done here on the earth. But the Lord is saying, what? Be of good comfort, all right? Because the Lord's getting ready to bring these uh, great uh, uh, great uh, blessings unto uh, that remnant, all right? And ultimately unto uh, the whole nation of Israel. It says, um, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being in return, seek him ten times more. So you coming back, all right, uh, to the laws and statutes and commandments, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this is the time to seek the Lord ten times more. Okay, going the brother was going into what the word repent, okay, it's an action. All right, you gotta show the Lord your uh, the actions, all right, that you uh truly uh believe on him, all right, you truly want to serve him. All right, so you got to seek him 10 times more, okay, constantly. It says, uh, for he has brought these plagues upon you, yeah, upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. So the Lord's getting ready to bring that salvation, all right? We can see it, all right, as we see these prophecies happening more and more. The Lord is uh, uh, opening up, up everything. He's showing us that this is it, all right? And while the rest of these other people that are out here, they're blind. Okay, and they, they, they can't see it far off. They're blind, and they're going to see the destruction when it comes. But when it comes to the uh, that remnant, the elect, all right, the Lord has remembered them, all right? He's going to show mercy unto them so that they may receive uh, salvation. Go ahead. You got something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Isaiah 50, uh, 51, in verse 11. And it reads, Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. So back in the brother up, that everlasting joy is that ultimate, ultimate, uh, incorruptible crown, man. All right, that's what the whole nation of Israel, all right, wants. But only uh, an elect, one hundred forty-four thousand, all right, were predestined to receive it, man. All right, we remember who we were. That's what we're saying. Because you're going to redeem, you know, what you can be uh, saved from sins. Of course, right. first, you know, the redeem means to buy back, right? You know, so the blood of Yahweh Shai. Which he said, which is firstly for his elect. So the elect are only for people covered in his destruction that comes just like ancient Egypt, the ones, the ones that just blood on the doorpost, right? Which was all Israel at that time, but they didn't believe, all Israel didn't believe, even the Lord delivered them. He's not doing that this time. Mm -hmm. He's only going to deliver those that believe. That's you know? right, bro. It says, uh, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Yeah, no more captivities. All right, this is the last captivity, man. That's something that gives us uh, much more comfort when we catch in hell, too, is that th this is the last time we catch in. Uh, hell, we're going on, under a, uh, another uh, a nation of people, man, especially the base of men, all right? It says, um, they shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away, all right? Sorrow and mourning is not going to be mentioned nowhere in Israel, never, never to be found again. Why? Because Revelation 21st chapter says, what, we're not going to cry no more. We're not going to have any more pain. Our family's not going to be separated. We ain't going to have to worry about sending our children off to school because there ain't going to be no damn schools in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, the scripture say none of uh, they all shall know me from the greatest to the least. 
All right, verse 12. I, even I am he that comforteth you, right? And the brother brought out the comforter earlier, all right, which is the scriptures. And uh, uh, like the brother I said, we pretty much are uh, uh, rehearsing or remembering who we were, man, by going into the scriptures, knowing who we are as a nation. And now simultaneously we're, we're uh, lining up the prophecies, man, through the spirit. All right. It says, um, who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of men that shall die and as the son of men, which shall be made as grass, man. All right. So you nations aren't going to be like the, uh, the grass that gets uh, cut down, man. Long, long more down when your house shall return. All right. And beam up as he let. All right, and neither lift up a hand nor finger, and but only by the uh, 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 blast of fire, that concentrated fire, you niggas gonna get, you niggas gonna get it, man. All right. Okay. Okay. With that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem, Rakab, Dash, Dabar, Hamish, the apostles, the Adams, the great notes, don't tell us it's true. Brother, don't peace, love, and salutations to the Quran, and Ma'achim, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.